Eyewitness News is covering schools live at 5. It was back to class today for children in several local districts, including here at South Kingstown High. Today was also the first day for Little Compton, Block Island, and Cherahoe schools, among others. All Rhode Island districts will be back in school by Thursday. When Newport students return to school on Thursday, will mark the start of a new era for education in the city by the sea. For the first time ever, children who used to attend four different elementary schools will now all be schooled under the same roof. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson joins us now from Newport with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom. The first bell is set to ring here at the Claiborne Pell Elementary School, and I got a behind-the-scenes tour with the Newport School Superintendent to find out what's in store for students. After years of anticipation, the time has finally come to unveil the newest Newport school, Claiborne Pell Elementary. Newport School Superintendent John Ambrosi pushed back his retirement until January in order to see the school completed. Everyone's so excited to be here. It's just a beautiful, beautiful facility and supported by the taxpayers of the city. Take a look inside and you can see exactly what Ambrosi is talking about. The $30 million facility has colorful corridors, spacious classrooms, and state-of-the- art technology like smart boards, things that will excite parents, according to the superintendent. This is going to be a great school for their children to grow and learn. The technology is awesome. We still have the great teachers that we had before. Ambrosi says about 850 pre-kindergarten to fourth grade students from all over Newport will merge from four old elementary schools into the new facility. We let the taxpayers know that there would be ultimate savings as a result of this. Uh, because uh, we have economies of scale. You have four small little schools and you build a big, beautiful school and you're going to save money. While the distance may be greater for some Newport residents, Ambrosi says transportation won't be a problem with express buses available to pick up students from all corners of the city. It brings the community together. It, 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 it has the north end and the south end of Newport having all of their children come together in one location uh, and, and get a high quality educational program. A ribbon cutting ceremony is set for tomorrow here at the Claiborne Pell Elementary School and then on Thursday at 8.30 a.m. the first classes officially begin. With East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.